Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight is part of our 31 Days of Oscar Festival. We're showing Oscar-worthy films from the 1980s. And that next brings us to a film from 1986, one that actually takes us back to 1959. It's a movie called Stand By Me from Columbia Pictures based on a novella called The Body by the prolific Stephen King. Now, King, of course, is synonymous with very creepy horror tales and thrillers like Carrie, Misery, The Mist, and dozens more which have been adapted for the screen. Well, our King's story is neither scary nor suspenseful, but it is one of the best of them all. It's a coming-of-age tale about four young boys who go on a quest to find a dead body that they've heard is near some railroad tracks. The story is fictional, but it is said that Stephen King based the four friends in the tale on himself and some of his own boyhood pals. The two writers of the screenplay, Bruce Evans and Ray Gideon, earned an Academy Award nomination for their work here. And those two men also produced the film. The director is Rob Reiner, and this was only Rob's third feature film that he directed, and much more serious in tone than his previous two, the one being the mockumentary This Is Final Tap, the other being a frisky teen comedy called The Sure Thing. With our movie, Reiner's biggest challenge, though, was finding the right actors for the principal parts. But after much searching, he did just that, putting together an ensemble that includes 15-year-old River Phoenix, also the star of the hit series 24, Kiefer Sutherland, when he was a kid, plus Corey Feldman, Will Wheaton, John Cusack, Jerry O'Connell, and in a cameo contribution, Richard Dreyfuss. From 1986, here's Rob Reiner's Stand By Me. <laughs> 